It's a new dawn, it's a new day, but just like yesterday, we're back playing Hearts of Iron 4. And today, because I'm feeling really, really original, we're going to do the Roman Novan Imperium Romanum mod. So, Roman Empire's back, baby, and I'm just going to try and make it bigger. I might also have left on the Jeb Bush Republic by accident, so let's all welcome Jeb Bush to this game of World Conquest. Welcome, Jeb. Welcome. So there's quite an expansive focus tree on this um, Roman Empire mod. There are quite a few Roman Empire mods on the workshop, but I went for this one because it, I, 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 I don't know, it's kind of the first one I clicked on. So we're going to back to the Roman Empire, which increases our national unity and reduces our justified war. Go oh, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. So if you're happy to see yet another House of Iron 4 video, make sure to leave a like on the video. And I'll make the same deal as before. If it hits 3,000 likes, I'll do another one on the Millennium Dawn mod. Because it was actually kind of fun, and you all seem to like it. Also, I've tried twice over the past two days to get out a Netherlands challenge to you all. YouTube appears to be buggy right now and won't push my content out to people. So, go onto my channel and, and, just, and you can find it. I'll leave a link to it. It's probably one of the better videos I've actually made. I was really happy with it. It's, it's, it's really funny and a lot happens. So, p please. Only three research slots, which isn't a whole lot for a Roman Empire. Or, no, we're Novum Imperium Romanum. Uh, we're being led by Gaio Gullier Caesar. I don't really know what his backstory is. And our SPQR flag looks a bit stretched. So we've only got a quarter of a million men, but 100% have equipment, which is pretty tasty. Looks like Ethiopia will remain independent in this mod. Huh. In a position where I can't get my resources because I don't have any convoys. That's... that's not... yep. Yeah, okay, well, that's a pain. We do look like a pretty powerful nation and we do start off with 20 military factories and 33 civilian, which is pretty tasty. I also might be recording this after the live stream. Well, the morning after last night's live stream and I'm... I'm, I'm pretty tired. But it was a who. And I think we'll reform our government now. I don't have an army theorist. Oh, they're just more expensive. Oh. Oh, well, we can get Hastati. Legionnaires. Oh my gosh, they're, they're quite large. Testudo tanks. All Roman scouts. Might get some Roman scouts for the mountains. I think we all know I'm probably going to go down the imperialist route. <laughs> well, here are our generals. They are statues. Our generals are statues. We have... Pompo Magno, or Vespasian, <laughs> what? V Marco Vespanio Agrippia. Oh my giddy aunt. Look at that buff. So in order to test the military might of the new Roman Empire, I've decided to take Bulgaria because, you know, it's not like they do much in the game anyway. Imperial ideas is the way to go. I think if we do a Jeb Bush update, I'm currently doing army effort. So we might need to watch out for Jeb. All of my divisions of veterans well, the vast majority of them are... Jeez Louise. I'm also producing military factories like a god church. Oh. Oh no, I actually said that out loud. Oh my god, what is happening to me? I'm also gaining a lot of political power a day. Gee, I didn't actually realise this mod might be OP. Well, it looks like we can invite mercenaries in, which... Oh my gosh, look at that. Our manpower will be huge. <laughs> oh yes. Ah. Well, Bulgaria, let's see what we can achieve here, shall we? Let's march on in, see how our divisions do. Oh my god. Um. Well, this is that. Oh, jeez, that was quick. I've grown. I don't think anyone would really mind that much if I took over the rest of Switzerland, would they? No, I think I'd be okay. Well, I've invited mercenaries in, and our manpower is now just ridiculous. I could only get Jim Taylor to be my... Okay, well, Jim, Jim, not exactly a Roman name, but we're all equal opportunities here. Oh, coffee. Coffee will make me up. Wake my mum. Coffee will wake me up. School for everyone! There we go. Research time minus 15%. I think I'm right to question their, their motive. Well, bad luck, Amelia. You didn't quite make it this time. How to gain flight schools, which again would increase my recruitable population by another 2%. But my manpower is already 3 million, so... Okay, let's do it. What's Jeb up to? Oh, Jeb. Um... 
Ah, well, there we go. Let's see if the Swiss put a better, up a better fight than uh, the Bulgarians. It doesn't look like they are. Stroll in now, huh? Well. Wonder who else I can gobble. Well, with flight schools, we now have 4 million recruitable population and we're on limited. Almost 1938 and no one has yet to really challenge me, which is brilliant. Really like this. This is great. This is the kind of Hearts of Iron game I've always wanted. I think I'll stick with Eastern Expansion. Don't really want to go up against these fellas yet. Oh, well, they're going to go and spoil all my fun, aren't they? Feckin' Britain and France. Well, it, it appears I've run out of statues to lead my army, so we've had to get real people now. Wellady, wellady, wellady. Looks like I'm gonna have some fun with Serbia. Sure, Germany, help me out here. Up against Czechoslovakia, which wasn't really what I wanted, but I'll take it. And they're, they're using common sense and not attacking me. Well, I'm not having that. I'm gonna use my smarts and attack them instead. Ah... <sighs> And now, Czechoslovakia don't have any way of getting to me, so screw you. Aviation effort. And he's still not fascist. I hope you're going to do something in this game, Jeb. I can't attack Romania because the UK is guaranteeing them. But if I attack Greece, Romania is guaranteeing them. And Romania is also guaranteeing Turkey, so... Uh, so let's just go and declare war on Greece and see what happens. This might be a problem. I am starting to lose. Oh no, no, I'm winning. Oh no. Oh no. UK, do not enter this war. Oh, you bastard. Well, this has taken a bit of a turn for the worse. I wasn't really after this kind of war. I'll give it the good round but a try, though. I really do feel that England is just picking on me. They, I, I just, you know, it's a bit unfair, really, isn't it? A bit unfair. Well, it appears my navy is getting absolutely decimated by the United Kingdoms, which is great. It's brilliant. Exactly what we wanted. Oh, looks like Jeb might soon be declaring war on the USA. My situation is looking somewhat dicey. So I've decided to try and hunker down while we uh, wait for the Germans to declare war on Czechoslovakia, because that's got to happen soon, right? Oh, good. Well, that's going to screw over Czechoslovakia a little bit. The uh, volunteers are getting slightly screwed, though. <laughs> well, sorry about that. It appears the UK became wise to my little plan there. Oh, Jeb. Jeb. Why are you supporting New Zealand? My fort line is well underway, though. Oh! Oh my! Oh my! That could be good for me? Oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna get wrecked, aren't they? Well, hopefully Germany's gonna declare war on Poland. Oh, balls, they're in the Mizumori. Oh, god damn it. Why, does, why, do, why do games never work out how I want them to? Screw it, I'm gonna go back to my fallback line. I don't want any part of this. Just leave me be, please. I've made a mistake. I might be in trouble here. Oh, God. Um, hey, Jeb, want to help me out? Jeb? <laughs> Good old Jeb. Well, at least they're not willing to attack me. Yet. Oh, my God. I'm really hoping my fort line holds, because I've got no tricks up my sleeve. Oh, thank God, Germany. Germany's going to be at war with them. Well, Germany's going all in. Okay, it looks like my fort line is doing a stand-up job at the moment, at least. I might try and push against France a bit, see if we can do something. Oh, my God. We can. Oh, my would-be enemy wants to help. How are you still a thing, Czechoslovakia? Wait. Wait, Poland's beating Germany. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The fort line is holding everywhere, apart from in this freaking tile. And now they're pouring divisions in. Fantastic. At least the fort line's holding. I think just push everywhere. Let's just let's just go ham. I think as soon as we take Paris, we're good. I need to contain these freaking naval invasions. Oh, feck off. Well, Germany might just be saved now. The, the Soviet Union's at war with Poland. Oh, boy. Okay, well... Oh, good. Czechoslovakia has capitulated. Let's try and go on the offensive, then. Just need to stop these naval invasions, because they are a pain in the arse. I hate naval invasions. I hate having a crap navy. Well, that's the Mesomori faction gone. Fecking Greece. It's Greece. I can't... I'm gonna take Bucharest. If it kills me. Okay. Can't let that happen. That'd be a bit of a problem. 
Just kill some British divisions there. Screw you, Britain. Screw you. The amount of divisions the United Kingdom has sent in to destroy me is ridiculous. Well, Jeb Bush has changed leader once again. He is now Jim Wilson. Okay. And I don't think they're going to go to war with the US, so that was a bit of a pointless mod, wasn't it? Freaking... Although it has been... It is now the Jeb Bush Reich. Oh! Oh, that could be very tasty. <laughs> oh dear, that could be very bad for the UK. Well, North Africa is a complete mess, but I'm not really too bothered about that. They can have Carthage if they want. So the UK is currently on 300,000 casualties. I'm going to see what it's going to be like once we kill all of these. Oh, they're trying to escape the Gits. Ooh, come on in, Japan. I will take your divisions, Hirohito. Okay, so after wiping out all of their troops are with an up to 637,000 casualties, which is oh, very nice indeed. And now Greece, you will die. This is what you get for naval invading me. You get skits, 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 skits. And their entire army is now pretty much crumbling. Well, I think we've done a good job at making the Roman Empire great again. Well, I could spend the next few hours mopping up free France and then trying to naval invade or airdrop into the UK. I'm going to call it a day there. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode and the Jeb Bush Reich, although they haven't done anything. And for another Millennium Dawn video, uh, 3,000 likes in this video, and then I'll get another Millennium Dawn video. I'm saying video a lot. I think I need more coffee. So until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Many thanks to Ivan, Wyatt, Miss Lexicon, Random the Randomer, Nicholas, Travis, Sam, and Isai Productions for being ridiculous, rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.